Hello, my friends. D.L. Anderson here. Welcome back to Transformation by Truth podcast as we share the truth concerning these last days and what you must do to save yourself from the violent times that are just ahead. Today's podcast is a word of truth accounting of the end times. The end is coming. The end is near. Today's podcast is entitled End Times 120, The Spirit of Endurance. The podcast objectives are analyze how enduring these last days is like navigating a maze, analyze the importance of being led by the spirit in these last days, reveal the importance of having a comprehensive view of the end times and analyze the window of opportunity we all have to be saved. Navigating a maze. Now that we understand the importance of times and seasons as the foundational building block of prophecy, we must conduct a thorough analysis of the seven seasons in these last days. Here is why. All the building blocks of prophecy concerning these last days are contained within these seven seasons. Therefore, any doctrine that does not line up with these seven seasons is untrue, and it will lead you astray. As it pertains to my closing argument from the most recent podcast, these false doctrines will prevent you from enduring until the end. They will cause you to fail in the day of adversity. For where there is no truth, there can be no endurance. Likewise, where there is error, there can be no truth. For all it takes is one fraction of error to compromise an entire body of truth, converting it into a lie. We prove this in podcast six, in times 104, the building blocks of prophecy. To it, we analyze how a little leaven taints an entire lump. And this is why the Father commands us to cleanse out the old leaven. Here again, the old leaven is the sum of all the errors we have inherited, for these prevent us from walking in truth. And those who do not walk in truth are walking in darkness. How then shall these endure? You must believe me. Understanding and following the truth concerning these last days is hard enough, even when you walk in the light. And no true contender would make their way harder by holding on to error and walking in darkness. On this wise, you should look at surviving the seven seasons in these last days as navigating a maze. To add to the complexity, your journey will occur during the most violent and destructive days in the history of our world. See, it's one thing to take on a complex assignment that most will fail in a relatively good day. It's another thing to do so in a grossly evil day and under the most difficult conditions, conditions beyond your imagination, but conditions we will soon see. Now, I'm not saying these things to scare anyone. I'm telling you the truth so you know what to expect. Remember, the truth is light, and without this light, you will not succeed at navigating through this complex end times maze. On the contrary, you will reach a dead end with all who were led astray by the false prophets, whose only true talent is leading blind men and women into a spiritual ditch. Yet, who has believed our report? And to whom is the truth concerning these last days revealed? led by the Spirit. Now, I trust you are seeing the crucial nature 
of succeeding this apocalypse maze. For success is not limited to knowing what to expect. Success also includes making the right decisions at the appointed times. In this regard, the best illustration of these last days is a time maze. You need to know where the Father wants you, physically and spiritually, and you need to know how much time you have to get there. Remember, unlike us, he knows the beginning from the end. And although some nations will be permanently destroyed during these last days, the entire world will be on fire, and there will only be a few safe spaces left in the earth. The question of the hour is, how will we know these safe spaces? And how will we know when to relocate ourselves and our families to avoid the danger zones? The answer, by the set-apart spirit, for he leads us into all truth, even the depths of the mind of Elohim, wherein lies the knowledge of the few safe spaces in the danger sphere of the apocalypse. 1 Corinthians 2, 10 through 16. For the spirit searches all matters, even the depths of Elohim. The thoughts of Elohim no one has known, except the spirit of Elohim. And we have received the spirit that is from Elohim in order to know what Elohim has given us, comparing spiritual matters with spiritual matters. But the natural man does not receive the matters of the spirit of Elohim, for they are foolishness to him, and he is unable to know them because they are spiritually discerned. But he who is spiritual discerns indeed all matters, but he himself is discerned by no one. We have the mind of Messiah. John 16, 13. But when he comes, the spirit of the truth, he shall guide you into all the truth. For he shall not speak from himself, but whatever he hears, he shall speak. And he shall announce to you what is to come. Now, these verses clearly prove the wealth of knowledge available to those who are truly walking in the Spirit. For it is written, The Spirit shall guide you into all the truth, and he shall announce to you what is to come. Here lies the inflection, and one of the greatest byproducts of these last days concerning all the false believers who claim to have the Spirit of Elohim. Consider it faithfully and never underestimate the infinite value of the Spirit. You can easily identify those who are being led by the Spirit in these last days, for they have this truth and they are saving themselves and their houses by building an ark. That is, the vehicle that will carry them to one of the few safe spaces that will be left in the apocalypse earth. All others are not building an ark. Rather, they are going on with their lives as if nothing is going to happen, just like those who perish with the flood. This is how we know they are not being led by the Spirit, despite their false claims of salvation, for Elohim has closed their eyes and shut their ears. He will not save them. On the contrary, he will destroy them, for as they have resisted the direction of his spirit, choosing the path of iniquity and lawlessness, they are none of his. Rather, they are stumbling blocks soon to be removed from the earth. A Comprehensive View Now, for those of you who are being led by the spirit, you know the end is near whether by dreams or visions or an advanced understanding of the prophetic word, you know we are living in the last of these last days. What you may not have known are the details concerning how it all ends. What you have not received 
is a comprehensive view of the end times. That is a top down view that allows you to see the big picture. This view is critical for it is the only view that allows you to verify all the seasons in these last days. Without it, you would not be able to tell the truth from the lie. Neither would you be able to understand how all the pieces to this complex time puzzle fit together. And yet, by the end of this series, you will see how all these pieces fit together. You will have something more precious than gold, something no one can take away from you. This is my promise to you. If you continue to be led by the Spirit, not just in your pursuit of end times knowledge, but in every aspect of your life, you will know the truth concerning the end times. You will know what you must do to be saved in these last days. From there, you will join me and all the chosen elect all over the world in effectual prayer, persistent fasting, and an advanced spiritual focus. And like us, the Father will begin providing you with detailed instructions to guide you through the difficult days ahead. He will tell you how to build your ark, and he will lead you to one of the few safe spaces left in our world at the appointed time. A window of opportunity. Now, there is a reason I liken these last days to a time maze and why I revealed we are currently in the second of the seven final seasons in these last days a season in which the chosen elect are being sealed by the spirit of Elohim. If it isn't obvious, allow me to tell you why this is so crucial to everyone living in the world today. All who survive these last days will be sealed by the end of the second season. And without this seal, you will not be guarded from all the evil that is coming to destroy the world and those who are outside the Father's will. To add to the urgency of this reality, we are at the end of the second season. The sealing of the set apart ones is almost over. It is coming to an end. This is precisely why the Father has commissioned me to conduct this end time series now at this time. It's because the door to salvation is closing. It will soon be shut, and the opportunity to be saved will have come and gone. This is just one of the many reasons why the Father has called me to be a watchman and not an evangelist. Truly, this is not a time to evangelize. It is a time to watch and to warn and to prophesy. It is a time to warn those who have been called that our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. It is even at the doors. Amos 3.8, a lion has roared, who is not afraid? The master Yahuwah has spoken, who can but prophesy. Still, in prophesying, it is clear that the majority in our world are so far from this truth, they will never be saved. Nothing I said then and nothing I say from now will change their fates. Here is why. Salvation is not a momentary event. Quite the contrary. Salvation is a spiritual process we must follow to be qualified for a future purpose. Now, at the highest level, that purpose is everlasting life. Yet, on an interim level, that purpose is our inclusion in the millennial kingdom. To wit, the chosen elect are being saved, i.e. preserved, for that kingdom. Without controversy, this is the purpose of salvation 
with specific regards to these last days. And this is why the majority will perish. It's because they are not living their lives according to the Father's will and his purpose. Therefore, he has no purpose for them. Therefore, they will not inherit the kingdom. For the Father does not exist outside of the spiritual model of purpose. And he will not guard those who do not guard his commands in the spirit of obedient faith. For this cause, we hear the word of truth declaring, when the son of Adam comes, shall he find faith on the earth? For only the obedient and the faithful will dwell with him in the land. Those who walk in a perfect way and do their spiritual best every day. Psalm 101.6, my eyes are on the faithful of the land, that they may dwell with me. He who walks in a perfect way, he shall serve me. Now, here is the final word. He who endures until the end, the same shall be saved. After considering this lesson, it should be clear why our beloved Savior spoke these words to his disciples, past and present. This life, at this time, is the most complicated maze you will ever face, and you must succeed it while your window of opportunity is open. In effect, you are up against the clock, and the only way out is by the Spirit and following a comprehensive view of the times and seasons we are living in. As this is the focus the Father has given me, we have everything we need to have terrific success. Now, all we have to do is continue in the spirit of endurance and endure until the end. Now, here is today's assignment. Meditate on the word you have heard today and ask the Father to reveal the truth to you. Remember, where there is no conviction, there can be no faith. And without faith, it is impossible to please him. Next, if the Spirit is leading you and you have not signed up for our mailing list, you can go to www.transformationbytruth.com to sign up today. We'll alert you as soon as podcasts are posted and we'll share our presentations, notes, and other materials at no cost. It is for your edification. And most importantly, you will be connected to me and those who have joined themselves to this ministry as we prophesy and align current events with the prophetic word. These discussions are taking place outside of this podcast ministry. Therefore, if the Spirit is leading you, and only if the Spirit is leading you, I encourage you to come and see. You will be in good spiritual company. Lastly, if you have any questions, please submit them via our contact form on our website. If you have any comments, Please share those on the video page for this podcast, also on our website. Now, here is what's next. We completed today's podcast, In Times 120, The Spirit of Endurance. And the next podcast is In Times 130, A Call to Stay the Course. I will post this podcast on Monday, April 24th, 2023. Until then, my friends, continue to be led by the spirit of Elohim, continue to watch, continue to pray, continue in fasting, and most of all, continue to be focused, for the end is coming, the end is near. Music